Hello, and um, this feature that I'm demonstrating, you might have already noticed, is animated textures. So in this case, you can see we have this sword here that's linked between the uh, arm sword to like a red sword, which is unique. You can see it works even in third person. So the way this is being defined is by this um, animations.txt file that you should see now. Um, the first entry we have here is the animation name is for the chef, so we're registering a sword. Um, Followed by the texture update, which is GUI slash items.png, which is a standard image file there. Um, then the animation uh, file is called sword anim.png as the third entry. Um, this file here, as hopefully on the screen now, um, basically is just 16 different uh, animation frames. And it goes from Y starting at the top and going down. Now, the next two coordinate, uh, uh, values are the x and y coordinates of the GUI images.png of where we're actually replacing it. Uh, 32 and 64 um, is where the iron store is located. And then we specify the width and the height uh, of the replacement we're doing. So in this case, it's 16 by 16, which is standard uh, Minecraft texture size. So some other neat things that we could do, uh, turn back on debug mode. Is example maybe I want my uh, eyes to glow uh, and change different colors. So here I've set up uh, two texture replacements, uh, one for the right eye, one for the left eye. And what we're doing is we have this rainbow texture, which is one pixel high, 128 uh, pixels tall, where it's just uh, goes from red, basically goes through all the hues. And what we'll see is look at here. You can see my player's eyes are now changing color over time pretty neat and cool. So another simple thing that we can do is, first off, I'm going to give my player a cloak. Uh, PNG's name is cloak I'm giving him. All right, so we got a cloak, but we don't want just that. I'm going to also give it an animation this. So now we can actually see my name Cryx scrolling across here. And basically, it's a very simple image uh, where I've just moved over the uh, the font of the string cracked over one uh, pixel each time. And the end result is you got this nice little scrolling animation on my cloak. So, and lastly, another thing you can always do is that name that we register it with, you can always use that name then to unregister the animation. And now you can see that the animation has stopped at the frame it was at when we uh, called unregister animation. So that's kind of neat and it's useful for uh, and when you want to actually stop an animation. So thank you and I hope to see some great uh, uses of these animated textures.